It's the middle of winter, and while that means a lot of people are hunkering down indoors, people in Lake County are doing the opposite. The group known as Lake County Racing is holding fun competitive ice racing events at Brandt and Long Lakes. Kevin Lance Matt Holson takes you to the first of several races taking place over the next month and what it means for local businesses. When the lakes ice over in the Chester area, the action really revs up. These races featuring kids and adults are a great boredom buster. They're also good for businesses in the area like the Shipwreck Bar and Grill. There's not a lot going on this time of year and it pulls from a lot of different communities. Uh, gives people something to do, something to come out of their houses and come see. John and Melissa Dugan own the Shipwreck. They say ice racing brings in visitors from all over. Um, ice races have been going on for a long time around here, um, so it's it's become a bit of a tradition for Brant Lake and uh, Chester community, and um, you know brings a lot of people out from not only this area but Sioux Falls and Minnesota and Iowa. Mother Nature delayed the start of the racing season that alternates between Brant Lake and Long Lake. Racer and Lake County Racing member Micah Schleeman says the schedule is really cooking now. We missed a few races. The ice has been questionable. It's gotten a lot better after that uh, blizzard weekend. And we've got good, safe ice out here. That means a lot of participation and big crowds. Schleeman says in addition to adults, kids from 6 to 12 years old are racing mini bikes and four wheelers. There's even prize money and gear on the line. It's all in an effort to heat up the activity here during the coldest months of the year. Finding, you know, ways to make this thing better and bigger. And if you come up on a Sunday, nothing to do, uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. Matt Holson, Kennel Land News. Wow, well, ice racing begins at 11 a.m. every Sunday. For a closer look at the schedule, just go to this story on kennelland.com.